Hi, in this part, we will present a white athlete and big game hunter, the Dogo Argentino, who is a breathtakingly beautiful and imposing dog who, thankfully, has not yet become a fashion dog. In this part, we will take a look at the seven points that a Dogo Argentino thinker should consider very carefully before making a purchase. In the last point, it will also be revealed whether the Dogo Argentino is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. To stay on top of the series and to get instant notifications of new parts, sign up for our channel and also press the bell button. 1. A Brief History of the Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino is a young dog breed that does not have a very long history and is the result of breeding and selection designed with almost engineering precision. In the first half of the 20th century, an Argentine pair, the Martinez brothers, began breeding an idealized dog breed with the goal of creating an ideal breed of dogs suitable for big game hunting, which is also excellent in guarding protective work, but also an ideal family dog. Given that at that time Argentines hunted mainly wild boars and cougars from horseback, it was a basic expectation that this new dog breed would be extremely strong, athletic, and persistent enough to chase a game for days and nights, without stopping. The Martinez brothers' notes show that the breeding grounds were laid by the now extinct Cordoba fighting dog, which was crossed with nine other breeds in the program. These included the white Old English Bulldog, the Bull Terrier, but also the Boxer and the Dogue de Bordeaux for family friendliness. The new breed which was formed this way has long been known in few places outside Argentina, the first specimens were introduced to the USA and Europe in the 1970s. 2. The Personality of the Dogo Argentino the Dogo Argentino is a tough breed with extraordinary physical traits. Being always kept and hunted in packs, they also lived in the vicinity of Argentine families, had a high degree of social instinct, but at the same time tended to be extremely dominant with other dogs not belonging to the pack. The hunting instinct is still above average strong in them, who has already seen the Dogo Argentino, which is running after its prey and is in a regular trance state, will certainly never forget this sight. Thanks to their ancestors, the Boxer and the Dogue de Bordeaux, they can be called excellent family dogs, loving and affectionate in relation to family members, but generally aloof from strangers who do not belong to their pack or family. Because of their excellent instincts, they are usually able to accurately identify those approaching with malicious intent and take effective actions against them. 3. Size and Coat of the Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino is a large dog, with an average height of 60 to 70 centimeters at the withers and an average weight of 35 to 45, sometimes 50 kilograms. Their hair is short and snow white, a small dark spot around their head is accepted. The white coat color, by the way, was a distinct breeding goal in the eyes of the Martinez brothers, as the hunters chasing the game had to notice their dogs in the dark and could not confuse their own dogs with the game. White is a legacy of the gene pool of ancient bulldogs and bull terriers. 4. The Trainability of the Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino is a sensible, clever, yet, like other hunting dogs, a highly independent, fairly self-contained dog breed. Hunting, catching big game is in their blood, it works instinctively, you don't really have to teach that. Due to their excellent sense of smell, they are used successfully in many countries as search and rescue dogs, and due to their enormous physical strength, they are suitable for both police and military service and can easily be trained for guard and protection duties. The only limitation in the work is the really above-average hunting instinct of the Dogo Argentines, since if they see any kind of prey, they certainly tend to linger after the game, abandoning the original task. You can teach them to skip this with extreme consistency, if you can teach them to skip it at all. 5. The Activity of the Dogo Argentino Due to their past, the Dogo Argentino is an extremely energetic, agile, and intensive breed. Because of their endurance and tremendous strength, they can be good partners in almost any form of movement, an ideal companion on long hikes, on foot, or by bike, but in order to play and be with other dogs, early socialization is certainly needed. Because of their perseverance and strength, they are still actively used for hunting in both North and South America to this day, most often against wild boars, which are easily caught, and two to three Dogo Argentines are able to capture and render harmless larger pigs. 6. Health and Longevity of the Dogo Argentino The Dogo Argentino, due to the fact that they have not become fashionable, 
can be considered a healthy breed. Their average lifespan is 11 to 12 years. Like other white-haired dogs, Argentinian dogs are affected by inherited deafness at birth, typically 10% of puppies are affected by bilateral deafness. These individuals are usually deselect from the pack after the first hearing tests of their six weeks of age. Like other large dogs, this breed also has a tendency to develop distorted hip joints and dysplasia. 7. And finally the last question, is the Dogo Argentino ideal for first-time dog owners? The answer to this question is no, rather than yes. The Dogo Argentino is an above-average strong and dominant breed and, as mentioned earlier, has very strong hunting instincts and is fairly self-governing due to their hunting past. Therefore, the successful socialization, education and training requires a lot of experience and occupation. In addition, due to their enormous energy and need for regular activities require a large space, which, moreover, is securely fenced in concrete, as, if they can escape, they will hunt down all farm and wild animals in the area, but also the neighbor's cat for sure. Responsible breeders also usually point out that it is highly recommended that they should be kept in the countryside, this tough, dominant hunting dog is not really suitable for the city and the couple of 10 square meter backyards. Their real terrain are the large, unrestricted spaces where they can work and serve as the Martinez brothers dreamed of more than 100 years ago. If you are interested in other dog breeds, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button to be notified of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.